mechanisms for the FLOCA program, as well as access to information, which is a big mandate of the um, Office of the Ombudsman. So we have um, had several discussions and we have agreed that uh, we will continue to strengthen our you know, grievance receiving, information receiving, and redress mechanisms, not just for the FLOCA program, but for all our programs. And for those who don't know, FLOCA is a, a World Bank funded program that is taking place in all countries, finan financing locally led um, climate action. Yeah, financially local, financing locally led climate action. And Ehoma Bay is one of the participating um, counties in this program. And we have gone a long way and we have set up uh, our ward committees and we are looking forward to uh, receiving the investment funding and implementing the programs across. But without saying too much, we are also happy that the Ombudsman and the team found an opportunity to come to our climate information uh, center, which is also supported through the FLOCA uh, program. And we are happy that now we are able to provide um, information. Actually, the last time we were launching the uh, two weeks ago when we were launching the center, we had only the weather information. But today we have seen that in partnership with CALRO also, we have agricultural advisory services. And now when a farmer calls here, they will not just be told it will rain or it will not rain. They can also ask questions around the issues affecting their farms, whether it is pests, whether it is when, whether they should apply fertilizer, which one, for which crop, where they are, and all this information is localized to the world level. And this is really what locally led uh, climate adaptation is about. It's not about being in counties. It's about going, going to the very grassroots, identifying the farmer, identifying their crop, identifying their problem. And so we are very happy that uh, we are in partnership with Tomorrow Now together with um, Calro and Floca in making this possible. Um, um, let me now take this opportunity to invite the Ombudsman to make um, some remarks. Karibu San. Uh, thank you, Your Excellency. And um, today we, we are visiting Oma Bay County as the Office of the Ombudsman in partnership with the Treasury and uh, World Bank uh, in as far as the um, programs on FLOCA are concerned. And uh, I'm, I'm just as excited as uh, Our Excellency, the Governor, today, because as I came to Omabe County, I knew that uh, Omabe County has performed so well that it was ranked as number one in the country at 70%. So the magic, Governor, that you've applied for the last one year, I beseech you to continue performing for the people of Omabe County because you've seen even the excitement around your office, the excitement, the happiness uh, of the citizens of Oma Bay County. So we really appreciate and uh, believe that that is the trajectory. That's how you're going to move forward. But uh, in terms of the, um, our visit, again, uh, we are working as a, a team with uh, a FLOCA uh, programs to ensure that uh, much as the FLOCA funds are coming to the counties, there are some conditions that have been set for counties to ensure that they are compliant. This is in terms of a complaints management because FLOCA is going to support agriculture, water, among other programs that are going to be um, locally based from the world level to the community level. And they have already started identifying the programs. In, in as far as they're going to um, ensure that these uh, programs are implemented, there will be complaints that are going to arise. Citizens are going to seek for information to get to understand how these funds are being utilized. So we partnered with um, uh, Treasury and World Bank so that we can get to the people, get to the governors, get the technical teams, and ask them to comply with the policies on grievance redress mechanisms so that uh, there is a way in which citizens are able to complain or they are able to seek information. The beauty of this county is that much as they are also number one, we have seen that they have the office of the Ombudsman. Governor tells me 
that much as I'm the national ombudsman, she is the county ombudsman, the county ombudsman number one. <laughs> and beyond that, she has devolved the office of the ombudsman in the county. So that there is another ombudsman within the county who can directly receive the complaints before they get to the number one ombudsman in the county. Mm. Thank you, Governor, for doing that because you are helping me make my work easier. So what that means, therefore, is that all the complaints that arise in this county, there is even an office as you enter into the office of the, uh, the governor so that you are able to uh, register your complaints, and that is a good thing from where the ombudsman sits. The other issue is about access to information. As you are aware, there is an Access to Information Act. Under the County Governments Act, all counties are supposed to domesticate the Access to Information Act. So we've agreed with the governor Although she's already established an access to information officer, they're going to ensure that they domesticate the Access to Information Act within the Omabe County. And the uh, ombudsman is going to support to ensure that we train the officers and all the information around procurement, the information around projects, the information ab about the governor ensuring that uh, she fulfills the pledges that she made for the people of Omabe County uh, fulfilled. So thank you, Governor. And we've also seen that there is the establishment of the climate um, uh, change unit that therefore uh, tells us about the weather in Omabe County, about the complaints of the citizens, the information that they are seeking. As I sat there, I've received a call from a citizen who wanted to know <laughs> about the soil in their <laughs> respective, <laughs> is it uh, Mifagano Island yeah. uh, in Bita? And uh, I've been able to explain because I can read uh, on, on, on the screen yeah. what information is supposed to be availed to the farmer. So thank you so much for what you're doing. You're doing everything right, Governor. We can only applaud you and uh, wish you well and pray that you continue to serve your people. Asante Nisana. Asante. Okay. Ero Kamano, one more Kabisa Kawono, Olimua, Gimada Mombudsman, Mayan Jacom, Mar Commission on Administrative Justice. Ombudsman, Enengam Aloso Otegoji, Oloso Wechete, Kangato Nigi Chandruok, Ni Jatich Rikalok Tini Maber, Ti Udoka Mitere Complain Mari, Mano Teach Ombudsman. Koro kawono tone ombudsman obiro, kachi elgi team, mar program milu ngoni floka. Floka ni en program ma nyeo weche mag lokruok mar luasi kaka timo resani. En program ma wal banko kelo mondo ngi weche gi. Kendo bro, ubro ungeo ni awards sanine wase loso committees mag climate change. Committees gi en teach gi implement program mar floka nigi programs mamoko mabro bedo kaluwore gi weche mag climate change kata lokruok mar kor uh, luasi wabiro uh, e, e climate change uh, e, unit ka kawa the climate information center marwa manyichwa chaka yanga kai adwana parne joa ni namba ntie ka namba cha eh no no aboro no, no, the beach. Aboro, abirio, no, no. No, no, aboro. No, no, the beach. Aboro, abirio, no, no. Mano namba, maki goyo. To katani yunge pese simbi. To donjo. To penjo mora mora maingo. Eweche maglok rok marko ruasi kati bed gi penjo ni beko dichwe. Koso kotho kuzichwe. To chamba ni dane no mwana koner. To fertilizer aket mane. Takete karango. Ki goche namba no. Ibro yudo uh, weche gote. Ngato mtie mabro mimu. Kanyo bene wabire ni kechu weche mag floka. Bengiyo weche mag uh, information uh, bilano. To maduong eneno ni ya. Wanu ketu waka elo japinye. Japinye mangiteko. Ekatiba mawango sani. Teko te, odokne japin. Jatelo, tingo mana teko no, kaja pinye momie, teko no mondo tingne, in trust. Koro, ombudsman obiro paro nwani, japin kani giwachi. Nyaka waket na fast moro, kama japin nyaloke le complain mare. Koro mano, waloso, 
wase loso complaint office ni office governor ka kidi kanyo ti do complaint office obro ka o complaint mari mondo oketi mondo ngito complaint nok niki kele nito iso ebu o mesa gima ombudsman be ngiyo niki biki yelo complaint complaint no o deal go nango kato wach kato bedu na complaint we governor eh governor no maya gira moro kikele kanyo nyaka deal ko de maneni odonje wange mage mbaka mwagoka uono gombuzman kendo wa mor kabisa gichendro mar floka treasury benika offices gitanika wa mor ni homa be na singo nejo homa be ni okchak so mwa ko apin na wacho na wacho nu kaka jo homa be ni one wa all giwa goro okchak so mwa ni ni so mwa gipin kwa biro malo ibro so mwa kwa malo kabiro pin iso mo wa maloko sokso mo wa eh mano e mano singo mane wa timo sani kor ngato nyalo wacho ni ne gi sebe na namba maber ma achiel maloko chu koro gi koro ni wa nyalo mbek ni etich bedo na bachiel no oketeko ne maintaining namba no e pek ne koro sani ko kwa dua tiyo moingo kaka waseti yo ndalote adwa go ero kamano ne officers wa mahoma bikai okwanyal bede namba no ni ka officers wa o, ni an kenda matimo gimoro jowagi mawaziri chief officers director staff wa te matio e, kuende te emomio wachopo ka bwacho peno miago ne giro kamano kenda nyiso gini sani okensa yueyo sani en sari dokanda wadu atio gipacho wa te gichunywa te gigimora mora momiwa mondo mi homa be odong malo kama entie mane momi wacho ni one the county of endless potential nyasayo guedu erokamano